Hi, my name is Dr. Lee Arpai, a VA pharmacist, and today I would like to show you the proper way to give an injection of glucagon. Glucagon is given during an emergency when someone has a very low blood sugar, which is also called a low blood glucose. Glucagon works the opposite way of insulin. Glucagon increases blood sugar while insulin lowers blood sugar. Feel free to share this video with your friends, family members, and coworkers so they too will know how to give glucagon because if you are the one experiencing a very low blood sugar, then most likely they will be the ones to give you a glucagon injection. So let's get started by first reviewing the common symptoms of low blood sugar. Common symptoms of low blood sugar may include sweating, shaking, dizziness, confusion, irritability, headache, feeling faint, having a fast or pounding heartbeat, and or muscle weakness. It is important to recognize the symptoms of low blood sugar before it becomes critically low. If low blood sugar symptoms are present, try to raise the sugar level by using the 15-15 rule. The first 15 stands for 15 grams of carbohydrates, and the second 15 stands for 15 minutes. So, eat 15 grams of carbohydrates and check a finger stick sugar after 15 minutes. Some examples of 15 grams of quick acting carbohydrates includes four ounces of fruit juice or full sugar soft drinks, one tablespoon of honey, sugar, or syrup, three to four glucose tablets, or sweets. Do not eat refined carbohydrates such as white breads, breakfast cereals, pastries, or drink diet drinks to raise low blood sugar. Those items will not raise blood glucose quickly. If the repeat finger stick sugar is still below 70, take another 15 grams of quick acting carbohydrates. Repeat these steps until the finger stick sugar remains above 70. Then eat a nutritious meal or a snack such as half a peanut butter sandwich to make sure the finger stick sugar does not go too low again. If you or someone you know is experiencing low blood sugar symptoms, try to confirm a low blood sugar with a glucose meter. However, if a person is not able to eat or drink or think clearly and you are unable to confirm low blood sugar with a glucose meter, this is considered an emergency and you should call 911 immediately. Now is the time to give a glucagon injection because if dangerously low sugar is left untreated, the person may experience seizures, become unconscious or unresponsive. There are many glucagon delivery systems available. Today, I will show you the glucagon injection emergency kit. The kit contains everything you will need to treat a dangerously low blood sugar. The kit includes a vial with a dry glucagon powder and a pre-filled syringe with liquid inside to mix with the powder. A needle is already attached to the syringe. You will need to mix the dry glucagon powder with the liquid before giving the injection. Pick up the vial containing the dry glucagon powder. Using your thumb, flip the cap off the vial. Set the vial down on a flat surface. Pick up the syringe. Remove the cap covering the syringe needle and be careful not to accidentally stick yourself. Insert the syringe needle into the rubber stopper on top of the vial. Push down on the syringe plunger handle to inject all the liquid into the vial. Without removing the needle from the vial, pick up the vial and syringe with one hand. Gently swirl the vial until the dry powder glucagon is completely dissolved. The solution should be clear and colorless. Do not use it if it's cloudy or if you see particles in the solution. Using both hands, one on the vial and the other on the syringe, turn over the vial and syringe so that the vial is on top and the syringe is below. Holding the syringe, pull the syringe needle down until the needle just shows above the top of the inside of the rubber stopper. Pull back on the syringe plunger handle until all the liquid is drawn into the syringe. The vial should be empty. The syringe should not contain air. If there is air, using your thumb, push the syringe plunger handle so the air goes back into the vial, but not the liquid. 
Now, pull the syringe needle completely out of the rubber stopper. Select a site for injection. Glucagon can be injected into the thigh, buttock, or upper arm. If you are unable to remove clothing in a timely manner, glucagon may be injected through clothing if necessary. With one hand, gently pinch the skin at the injection site. With the other hand, holding the syringe like a pencil, with the needle down, insert the syringe needle into the injection site in one quick motion, straight up and down. Using your thumb, push the syringe plunger handle all the way down until all the medication is injected. Once the syringe is empty, pull the syringe straight up out of the skin and apply light pressure on the injection site. Discard the entire syringe with needle attached into a sharps container or a heavy duty leak proof bottle. Follow your local or state policy on proper disposal of sharps and needles. Glucagon may cause nausea and vomiting. After injecting glucagon into someone that is unconscious, immediately turn them on their side to prevent choking and call 911. They should awaken within 15 minutes after the injection. Upon waking and sitting up and ensuring the patient can swallow, give the patient some sips of fruit juice, table sugar on their tongue, or regular or full sugar soft drinks, and then a long-acting source of sugar, such as crackers and cheese or a meat sandwich. Never try to feed someone who is not awake. If possible, 15 minutes after injection, check the finger stick to determine if sugar remains less than 70. If after 15 minutes the patient is not awake, another dose of glucagon can be given. Once the person is feeling better and the emergency low blood sugar is resolved, it is important to contact your diabetes care team to discuss the event and ask for another glucagon kit prescription. A couple of reminders before we finish. Please make sure to check the expiration date on the glucagon emergency kit. It is recommended to mark the expiration date on your calendar and request a refill from your provider before your glucagon prescription expires. You should store the glucagon emergency kit at room temperature. Keep all the contents in the kit until needed to ensure that they are protected from light. Do not mix the powder with the liquid until you are ready to use it. Make sure that your friends, family members, and coworkers know where you keep your glucagon emergency kit. It is recommended to wear a medical alert identification for safety. Thank you for listening, and thank you for your service to our country.